technology is advancing faster than ever. Every few months, we hear about a new piece of innovation that pushes the limits of what we thought was possible. But sometimes, with every step forward, something valuable gets left behind. In the case of the new Meta Ray-Ban display glasses, that something might be repairability. Now, these glasses have already grabbed headlines for their cutting-edge features, sleek design, and futuristic display system. But there's a hidden story underneath that shiny frame, one that's just as important as the technology itself. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. This story starts with a teardown, one done by iFixit, a group known for exposing the inner secrets of modern gadgets. Their teardown of the Meta Ray-Ban display glasses didn't just show what's inside, it revealed how modern tech is walking a tightrope between design beauty and serviceability. When you think about advanced wearable tech, you imagine seamless, light, compact designs that fit naturally into everyday life. That's exactly what Meta aimed for. These glasses are small, stylish, and surprisingly capable. But to achieve that level of miniaturization, sacrifices had to be made, and the biggest one seems to be the ability to repair or replace anything inside them. Inside the frame, nearly everything is glued or soldered down. The battery, the display components, the speakers, and even the sensors, all locked in place. It's like Meta wanted to make sure that once the device is assembled, it never gets opened again. And while that makes for a sturdy, water-resistant, and elegant design, it also means that if something breaks, your only real option is to send it back to Meta or replace the entire pair. The battery, for example, isn't user-replaceable. That means when it begins to degrade, and all batteries do, you can't just swap it out like you would on a regular gadget. Instead, you'll likely need to send it in for a full replacement or get a brand new unit. For something that costs hundreds of dollars, that's a tough pill to swallow. The same goes for the internal components that power the display. They're not designed to be tinkered with. You can't open them up, upgrade, or even check for small faults without risking total damage. The adhesive and solder joints make sure of that. This isn't a unique problem to Meta, though. Most smart glasses, whether from Meta, Google, or others, face the same issue. The race for compactness and style has forced companies to prioritize design and performance over long-term repairability. It's a trend that's spreading across the entire tech industry, from smartphones to smartwatches, and now even to eyewear. It's easy to see why this happens. Consumers love sleek devices. We want them to look good, feel light, and work seamlessly. But achieving that often means sealing everything inside a perfectly molded frame, one that's nearly impossible to open without breaking it. Still, there's a deeper conversation here. If every device becomes disposable after a few years, are we really moving forward? Or are we just trading convenience for sustainability? That's the question iFixit's teardown brings to the surface. The Meta Ray-Ban display glasses are undeniably a technological marvel, but they also represent how innovation sometimes overlooks longevity. Now, let's switch gears and talk about what actually makes these glasses so fascinating, their display technology. Because once you understand how they work, you'll see why this design is so complex and why repairability becomes such a challenge. The display's resolution, 600 by 600 pixels, might sound low compared to your smartphone or laptop but in the context of tiny wearable displays, it's impressive. Remember, this entire display system fits into something the size of a temple arm. Every millimeter counts. The technology itself is an incredible achievement. But it's also a major reason why repairability is so limited. Each optical layer, each piece of glass, and each microcomponent must be perfectly aligned. Even a fraction of a millimeter off, and the entire optical system fails to work correctly. That's why these glasses are so difficult to disassemble. The waveguides, the components that guide light into your eyes, are built from multiple layers of coated glass. These layers are precisely cut, often using diamond wire saws, and then polished to extreme smoothness. The final result is a STR. Uxure so delicate that even a small crack or dust particle can ruin it completely. Interestingly, the waveguides in Meta's glasses are likely made by Loomis, an Israeli optics company, and produced at scale by Schott, a German optics manufacturer. These companies are leading the way in creating optical components that can make AR glasses practical and affordable in the long term. But we're not quite there yet. 
The field of view, or FOV, on these glasses is around 20 degrees. That's enough for simple overlays, notifications, icons, or minimal digital content, but it's far from the immersive AR experiences we imagine when we think of mixed reality. Still, this limited FOV is a trade-off that allows the glasses to remain lightweight and stylish. A wider FOV would mean bigger lenses, brighter projectors, and heavier batteries, which would ruin the aesthetic and comfort. It's a delicate balance between innovation and practicality. Meta seems to be choosing a path that prioritizes usability and style over immersion. For now, that makes sense. These glasses aren't meant to replace your smartphone or become full-blown AR headsets. They're meant to introduce smart displays in a natural, wearable way, something you can actually wear in public without feeling awkward. And yet, even with all these advancements, the conversation about repairability keeps coming back. Because as exciting as this display technology is, it's also fragile, complex, and expensive to maintain. If one component inside fails, the odds of fixing it without full replacement are slim. That's where the real debate begins. Should modern tech focus entirely on pushing performance and design boundaries? Or should it also make sure that the devices we buy can last longer, be repaired easily, and generate less waste? I fix its teardown of the Meta Ray-Ban display glasses highlights exactly this conflict. The team admired the innovation, the way Meta managed to pack so much technology into such a small frame, but they also pointed out how difficult, nearly impossible, it is to repair. From the solder joints to the sealed adhesives, everything is optimized for production, not maintenance. And that makes sense from a business point of view. Companies like Meta want to ensure their products stay functional, safe, and visually consistent. Allowing user repairs could introduce risks, from improper reassembly to potential exposure to delicate optics or electrical components. But from a consumer and environmental point of view, this creates a throwaway culture. This situation isn't unique to Meta. Apple, Google, Samsung, all major tech companies face similar criticism. Devices are getting thinner, sleeker, and more capable, but at the cost of repairability. And the result? Millions of electronic devices end up in landfills each year simply because a single component failed. The irony here is that we live in an era of extreme technological advancement. We can fit computers, cameras, and displays into objects as small as eyeglass frames. But at the same time, we've made it nearly impossible to fix them once they break. That's why the right to repair movement has gained so much momentum in recent years. Consumers are demanding that companies make their devices easier to fix, offering spare parts, manuals, and tools to extend product lifespans. Even governments are starting to pay attention, introducing laws that require companies to support repairability. In this context, Meta's Ray-Ban display glasses represent both a technological milestone and a philosophical challenge. They show us what's possible when you push engineering to its limits, but also remind us of what we lose along the way. When you look at these glasses, it's hard not to be impressed. The craftsmanship, the design, the integration of optics and electronics, it's a remarkable piece of engineering. But as soon as you learn what's inside, you realize how fragile that balance is. Every component serves a purpose. Every millimeter is optimized. And in that optimization, there's simply no room for the kind of modularity that makes repairs easy. Still, it's important to see the big picture. These glasses are an early chapter in what could be a much longer story, one where AR and display glasses become as common as smartphones. The technology we're seeing here is the foundation for what's to come. The current limitations in repairability might be temporary. As materials improve and manufact. During techniques evolve, we could see future models that offer both high performance and easier maintenance. Companies like Loomis are already working on next-generation waveguides that promise wider fields of view and better efficiency. Shot, on the other hand, is developing new glass materials that can handle optical precision while being more durable. And Meta, being one of the biggest players in the AR space, is constantly experimenting with ways to make their devices lighter, stronger, and more sustainable. So, while the current model may not be repair-friendly, it's also part of a learning curve. Every generation teaches manufacturers something new about design limits, user expectations, and environmental responsibilities. 
If anything, the Meta Ray-Ban display glasses are a sign of progress, not just in technology, but in how we think about the intersection of convenience, aesthetics, and sustainability. They remind us that innovation doesn't happen in isolation. It's a constant trade-off between what's possible now and what we hope to achieve next. And maybe, just maybe, the real brilliance of these glasses isn't just in their display, but in what they represent, the beginning of a new era of wearable tech that will one day balance performance, design, and repairability in perfect harmony.